Well, the Biden administration says the U.S. is heartbroken and deeply troubled by the strike that killed the aid workers from World Central Kitchen, adding the victims have been doing extraordinary brave work. The U.S. is also calling for a complete investigation. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, tonight the Biden administration is extending its condolences to the families of those killed in that airstrike. Now, at the same time, President Biden has scheduled a meeting today here at the White House with a small group of Muslim American community leaders to try to ease tensions as the war in Gaza drags on. In the press briefing room, White House National Security spokesman John Kirby addresses reporters concerning the deadly Israeli airstrike on aid workers delivering food in Gaza. We were outraged to learn of an IDF strike that killed a number of civilian humanitarian workers yesterday from the World Central Kitchen, which has been relentless in working to get food to those who are hungry in Gaza and, quite frankly, around the world. And overseas, during a visit to Paris, meeting with his French counterpart, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken called the aid workers who died heroes. They run into the fire, not away from it. They show the best of what humanity has to offer when the going really gets tough. And Blinken said they must be protected. He also said the U.S. has spoken directly to the Israeli government about the airstrike. We've urged a swift, a thorough, an impartial investigation to understand exactly what happened. Back at the White House, John Kirby addresses Rafah in Gaza and Israel's planned invasion to destroy Hamas. Top American and Israeli officials held virtual talks Monday as the U.S. pushed alternatives to the ground assault, a move the U.S. opposes on humanitarian grounds. An estimated four battalions of Hamas fighters are dispersed among more than 1.3 million civilians. The whole reason to have that meeting was to talk about our concerns over a major ground operation in Rafah and to present viable alternatives for them to be more precise and more targeted. The Biden administration is reportedly also weighing selling Israel up to 50 new F-15 fighter jets. Separately tonight, President Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping spoke by phone today. It was their first conversation since November. One of the items discussed, Taiwan. The White House says President Biden emphasized the importance of maintaining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait and the rule of law and freedom of navigation in the South China Sea. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.